Hi, I'm Ali Braid, and I'm an expert on recruitment, interviews, and business. Today, I'm going to give you some advice on how to ease your money worries. We're going to look at how to write an invoice. First of all, make sure you've included who the invoice is going to and what it's for. For example, hours that have been worked or specific jobs or orders that have been made with that company that owe you the money. You might also be due some expenses, so make sure these are laid out clearly on your invoice form. Put the total on at the bottom and you would also have to include some bank account details, including, if it's for an individual, the NI number. Make sure somewhere on the invoice it states when it needs to be paid by, ensuring, of course, that this is polite. So, to fill out an invoice, these are the things that you need to remember. Who is it going to? What are they paying you for? Was it for a particular amount of hours or a specific job. Make sure any NI numbers and expenses are filled in, along with bank account details. And make sure, in a polite way, you put on your invoice when it needs to be paid by. And that is how to fill in an invoice. Make sure that you do have a reference number. This is for you, not for the person that the invoice is going to, so you can keep a track of any payments that are still outstanding. Make sure that you have a date on your invoice somewhere. Again, this will help you to track any outstanding payments throughout the year. And that's how to write an invoice. <laughs>